Alright. Good morning guys. Or should I say, good morning mother suckers. Welcome back to another video. I am out here in Mission Bay. I am out here in Mission Bay with my buddy James and Tony. We are gonna be renting a skiff out of Dana Landing and obviously Skiff Mission Bay this fine morning. It is Thursday morning and we are out here, Mission Bay, Dana Landing. We are gonna be renting a skiff and hopefully catch a lot of bass, maybe a halibut, mackerel, barracuda, we don't know. I haven't fished Mission Bay since probably last month or two months ago. I don't know, it's been a while since I fished Mission Bay, especially from a skiff. You know, the last epic time we had out here was that day I made a video on um, the Jigpara Thin Spins. But we are out here and we're gonna try to catch some fish. So enough of this talking, the gates just opened and we are gonna make our way down the ramp and get our asses on a blue boat get out there and catch some fish but before we start this video if you guys are new to this channel this is your first video consider subscribing you know hit that bell button get some notifications of future videos comments or whatever and also follow me on Instagram all the information will be in the description below be sure to check that out you know what let's go You guys see that behind me? That's the sunrise of San Diego. And you see that behind me? That's the Pacific coastline, way over there. So we got about an hour and a half until the sun burns through this, uh, these clouds. But it's nice, it's not burning hot and uh, it's nice and cool. What do you guys think? You guys think it's nice and cool? Or yeah. are you guys just gonna ignore me? Yeah, dude. Yeah. You guys remind me of my what? Nice. <laughs> 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 yeah, but we're out here, we finally made it on the skiff in the middle of Mission Bay. You guys wanna know exactly where I'm at? I'm on the water. And we are gonna be fishing for Spotted Bay Bass. It's your first time fishing with me on a skiff out here. Yeah. Right, we done a skiff trip out in San Diego Bay before with his son, Juju, and his brother, Alec. But yeah, we're out here. Ski Beach over there. Fiesta over here. Lamos right there. So enough of this rambling. I'm gonna show these guys how to catch fish. So you guys stay tuned for that. Like I said, if you are new to this channel, this is your first video, hit that subscribe button. If you're a fan of mine, hit that thumbs up. Thank you very much, mother suckers. Ooh. Got bit? Got bit. Got you bit. You see that? You see that face of determination? Ooh. Ooh. Right there. Pro stats. All right, enough of this. He's already getting bit, and I am going to get off this camera, slap you guys on my chest, get my lines wet, and show these guys what's up. All right, let's go. What are you throwing? Jake Para? Who does that? <laughs> it's been a while since I T-rigged, so... Oh, that's a good one. Go. Hell yeah. On the jig par spin. Yeah. What, what? James broke the ice. Oh, that was a bite. Oh, that was a hard bite. Took my bait instantly. That was a big bite. Oh, he's hungry, all right. It's my first bite and I got freaking robbed. Don't worry about me. I know how to cast. <laughs> Don't be scared. I've been hit. I've been hit before. <laughs> Have you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Keep an eye out for rogue waves. Because they'll mess you up. a bite. There we go. Yep. Oh no, he spat my grub, you jerk. There we go. First one of the morning.
let it get all the way to the bottom let it sit for about five ten seconds and start popping it keep it down just got hit again Ooh, that was a good hit the tail biting the shit out of it oh right on the pop Right on the pop. What's up, dude? Hooked you all kinds of weird. Ah! Well, number two. I felt the teeth go into my, my thumb, bro. I had to let go. <laughs> what you do is when they start hitting it, keep your rod tip down a little bit more. Just start reeling it in while he's hitting it, and you feel that good thump. Then that's when you sit. Don't sit on the small tail hits. Oh, damn, he almost took the rod out of my head. Yeah, the whole thing went down. Probably by far one of the best hits so far. These guys are really aggressive this morning. I don't know that the barbs on these hooks though. Number three. First time using the coastal, fellas. Yeah. Let's see what I'm gonna throw on here. Are you on? Not not the size we're looking for, but it's a start. It's a fish. That's all that matters. Double. Damn, don't look like they want the underspin. There we go. Nope, came off. No, I don't know. Oh yeah, a little tiny one. Hey, like I said, take what I can get. Not bad. There we go. Little guy. So far, this real cast is pretty damn good. Like it? Yeah. I mean, what's not? What's there not like to like? Not like about this real? <laughs> Like that, oh. Try to sabotage me? <laughs> you saw that? Yeah. Oh, this guy's pissed. Look at that, he's hella flared. Peace out. On to the next. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Woo! Bit the ass end. Oh, this is, dude, this is legal, bro. Yeah. <laughs> dude, this guy is pretty big. Nice one right here. 
biggest ones this morning. All right, guys, quick update. We are on our fourth drift and we caught easily over 30 fish already. James is killing it. He's on fire. Tony, not so much. Me, yeah, but James, James is doing all the work right now. He's bringing all the numbers onto the boat. We caught a couple of eagles, maybe about two or three, a halibut, a lot of sand bass, little tiny ones too. I think I killed one. And um, a lot of spotties. We're still out here, like I said, Look, James already hooking up right behind me. So yeah, the bite's fire right now. What? Another Halley? No. Did he go? No. No? There you go. Just speaking of the devil, he, he just landed a halibut. Look. Move, Tony, get out of the way. <laughs> there you go. So Jigpara spin or anything white, anything like that, uh, matching the hatch of the bait fish we've been seeing around, which are smelt. And we saw like um, like a shad style looking bait or shad type looking bait out here. Obviously not a shad, but we saw, uh, well, James halibut, his first halibut spat up a shad looking uh, looking fish. It was like this big silver, good rattle trap size. We don't have any rattle traps on us. So right now we're gonna do this last drift. It's gonna probably last us maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Then we're gonna move in and maybe fish the pilings or maybe the jetty mouth or the mouth of the bay. So, so you guys stay tuned with that. Hopefully we get something big. I mean, so far two halibuts, maybe about 15 uh, sandies and the rest were just spotties. So you guys stay tuned and yeah, on the chest you guys go. Damn son, look at that. On what? Uh, Kitek T-Ray. Yeah, first cast, new spot. We're only like 30 yards away from where we started. There you go. At least somebody's catching something. I'm casting over here. There's too much crap over here. I'll leave the dinks for you. Skin hug, barely. All right, here we go. flat which is good we're gonna go against this wall james you gotta have to be up at the edge push us off if we get too close aye, aye. all right go pitch it at the corner now and let it sink all the way down free spool the whole way down Still go. When you feel that bite, lock it up. And just pop it up and down. Yeah, there's no current right now. Sorry guys. It's kinda it's it's, it's really hard to do this. I'm trying to boat. Just keep dropping it down. Hug in. Just let it hug in. Right. There you go. Nice. Oh, it's a good one. It's a really good one. Never mind, he's hooked on the side. But man, did he fight. Yo, my first piling. <laughs> Is there still kelp over here? Oh! Oh, 
Oh, take me out of, no, he took me in. Yeah, he took me in. There you go, he came out. Gotta get him out. There you go. Yep. Woo! That's how it's done. Red in the eye, dude. Another eye. <laughs> yep. Damn, look at that. In the dome. Well, he wasn't hooked that bad. Whew, this guy took me under and I got him out. All right, guys. Quick, quick, quick update. We are on the last part of our trip. Well, me and James, at least. Um, Tony's gonna be fishing out here on the skiff still with his buddy. Yeah, right now we're gonna hit up one more point. Tony got his first ever piling, bridge piling spotted bay bass. And I told him to fight five to 10 times harder than your average spotty when you catch them, you know, in the bay around like in the open, you know, out here. Thing about the piling spotties is that they're constantly fighting current, so they got that muscle in them. That's how I see it. Wouldn't you agree that they're fighting uh, a, a lot harder than oh, yeah. all the other spotties we were Twice hooking up on? It's a lot heavier. A lot heavier, yeah, right? For sure. Yeah, so we're gonna head over to the point which is about 200 yards that way. We're gonna head over to that point right over there and hopefully get a halibut to bite, maybe some more spotties, fish for another half an hour or so, then we're gonna call it and Tony's gonna still be doing his thing out here. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. If you guys stuck this far into the video, thank you very much. And also, a quick reminder, check the description below for everything we use in this video or everything that I use in this video. That way, you guys come out here and you guys wanna get an idea of what works and what doesn't. It's all down there, all right? So, back on the chest, you guys go. All right. Might be our last stop, we'll see. Right there. <laughs> it's a good one? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Here you go on that white fluke. You and your bucktails, bro. Wanna try it, man? I wanna catch a fish on a bucktail. You wanna catch a fish on a bucktail? Wait until the macro start going crazy. Macro and uh, Bonita. Barracuda too. Oh, right there. As I was laying the line out. I was free spooling and it just started speeding up. Yeah. It's a good one too. Not the biggest, but I'll take it. Oh, this bass got herpes. Gone? Yeah, but it didn't hit like a spot. This might be a howley. There you go. Bucktail. 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 Take your time with it though. Oh. No, it's not a. It's not. It's not nope. a. No. Nope. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Go over if you have to. Oh! 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 Don't cheer yet, don't cheer yet, don't cheer yet, don't cheer yet. Take your time, take your time. Yeah. Big ol' halibut. I know, I know, I seen it, I see it. He's going, he's, he's trying to dig in. Yeah, so take, loosen up my drag or not? No, one, one notch down, one notch down. And slowly bring him up. Twenty-six, twenty-six and a half. Let me get a big. No way, dude. First legal? First legal. Woo! Hell yeah! Oh, oh hell yeah! Nice. Oh, hell yeah. Nice.
Dude, I... Yeah, boy! Look at that, guys, right there, man. His first <laughs> ever legal halibut. I'm How do you shaking. feel, dude? I'm still shaking, man. I shake it for you, bro. Woo. Dude, that is insane. He's huge, dude. 26 and a half inches. Bigger than mine's this year. <laughs> Way bigger than ours, actually. Oh. Super stoked. Look at that. You can't resist that smile. That's right there. Juju, dude. you're missing out. Yeah, Juju, this one's for you, dude. There you go, man. <laughs> Damn, dude. It's unbelievable. It's unreal. Hold him up. This is unreal right now for, for Tony. Yeah. His biggest bay fish ever. Just felt heavy as soon as it hit. Didn't feel like a spotty. Took my time bringing him in. Saw him come up. Big Hallie, dude. Excited. We're having fish tacos tonight. Unbelievable. This, it's not even five minutes after we left the pilings. <laughs> Well, I told these guys like, you know what? I heard there was halibut always biting at this point. So I was like, let's go check it out before we call, um, we call it a day. So we went right over here uh, to, you know, right, right by the point, literally like right behind him. You guys can see that. We went over there, I caught a spotty, he got a couple bites and then sure enough, I looked over at Tony, he got this weird old bucktail tied on. I was like, you know what man, you ain't gonna catch shit with that. He goes, I'm gonna try. I'm like, man, only Bonito and Macro bite that. He's like, oh yeah, sure, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We do talk shit, we get bit, right? Yep. 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 <laughs> you know that too. Yep. You need to calm down. But then again, he hooked up onto a 26 and a half inch halibut. His first ever legal halibut. Right there, guys, right on the bucktail. Landed this halibut with the freaking white grub. Is that from Walmart? Yeah. Yeah, the Callis <laughs> grub. <laughs> right there, guys, 26 and a half inches. You want to weigh him? Yeah, I got a scale. Got a scale. You got a scale yeah, too? Yeah. Both bust your scale out, homie. He's getting heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how heavy it is. Seven pounds. We'll say seven pounds due to the fish grips, but you guys can check that out right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. 7.2. So minus 0.2, just in case you know, want to be nice about it. But seven pound halibut, 26 and a half inches. Boom! Woo! Right there. I'm going to eat them. <laughs> just kidding but congratulations bro thanks man well worth it we grinded out all morning we caught 40 plus fish this morning out here in mission bay super stoked super exciting and i think that dude money killer right there right there all right guys well we'll see what happens from there Good day. It was a great day. Don't you say, Tony? Hell yeah. Great, great day. Got his PB. First legal halibut ever and of the year. Many more years to come though. Hopefully we'll get some bigger ones next year, later on this year. You never know what you can get in the bay. That's why we love saltwater fishing. Freshwater fishing, yeah, it's, it's fun to a certain extent. But saltwater fishing, you never know what you're gonna get. You can get something from spotted bay bass to mackerel to smelt to barracuda to halibut, go out deeper, rock fishing, other crazy shit. We started off this morning throwing Jigparo spins, grubs, flukes, and they're all getting bit. But the Jigparo spin was the ticket this morning for spotted bay bass. Tony came in with the clutch, got the biggest kicker today, the 26 and a half inch, again, seven pounds halibut on the bucktail. I was talking so much shit about that bait and sure enough, he got it. Now, me and Jay's, we have to go buy some now. But that sums up our day. We were just, you know, grinding around, figuring out the bite. Once we figured out the bite, we were just on it. And that's, that's what you guys need to do. And I encourage you guys to do that. You know, you can't just stick to one bait. If they're not gonna bite the fluke, move over to something else. Don't waste two to three hours throwing one bait while there's hundreds of different style of bait you can try. From the Jigpara, from Irons, from BPS tail spins, from Jerk Baits, Lucky Craft, all that stuff cycle through you know figure it out that's part of it not just because you buy a jigpara spin or a jigpara iron or a kitech doesn't mean you're guaranteed fish all the damn time so remember that guys let that sink in think about that but enough of that enough of that lecture i'm gonna close it out right there thanks a lot for watching guys if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing i appreciate every single one of you guys for watching smash these videos that bell notification. Another you guys heard and smash that bell notification for updates on new videos in our near future if you guys like these skip videos comment below i can't skip all the time but i try and as always guys give me a thumbs up it'll help me out a lot all right
and I'll end it the same way I always end it. Thanks a lot for watching, and as always, good fishing, and peace the hell out. <laughs>